Join me as we take the word of God, as we take communities, as we take neighborhoods, as we take schools, institutions for Jesus. Join me as we take the gospel of Jesus Christ into the marketplaces. Join me as we take the gospel, the living word, into every look and cranny of the world, the byways, the hedges, the cities and the towns. I believe secrets we can conquer. I believe we can conquer poverty. You are not meant to be where you are now. When you have Jesus, there is transformation. I believe we are born to fulfill destiny. This is the time. It's now. You are not going to wait for the kingdom of heaven suffer a violent and the violent take it by force. Praise the Lord. Our Lord is good. All the time and all the time the Lord is good. The Lord is about to do a new thing. And I'm very sure that from this new thing you will partake of it. I will partake of it in the mighty name of Jesus. I know the heaven is open for all of us to begin to enjoy the fullness and the goodness of the almighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Once again I welcome you all to Street Preachers Indoor. It is your season. The Almighty God will bless you. The Lord will open your heaven. No more weeping. No more losses. In the name of Jesus. No more secret cares. No more secret tears. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen to Jesus. Yeah, we have a short word to share today. And it says, give him more thanks this year. Give the Almighty God, our Lord Jesus Christ, more thanksgiving this year. In this year, 2016, the more thanksgiving we give to him, the more blessing is going to release upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this year, we should give God more praises, more thanksgiving. It is very easy for people to say, Oh Lord, I thank you, I bless your name, when things are going on well, when promotion is coming in. When there are new doors opening, when people are getting married, when children are coming forth, it is very easy for everyone to thank Jesus, to thank him for what he's doing. But when things are not going the way we want it to go, people find it very difficult to give thanks. But I am here this morning under the power of the Almighty God to encourage you to give him thanks. Either it's going the way you want it to go or it's going the way you don't want it to go. You just give him thanks. Give him praises because for this reason he has created us. And I'm very sure that by the time you give him more thanks, you praise him, you adore him, your life will never remain the same again. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 136 verse 1. Psalm 136 verse 1. And I read. And it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. You have to give God thanks. You have to appreciate him because his mercy endures forever. You have to thank him because he's God that is good. Even when things are not going on well, he remains good. He is forever good. Since the beginning of creation, he has been good. And he's the God that never changes. And I know that concerning you and I, he will not change in the mighty name of Jesus. We must learn and cultivate the habit of praising him, of calling him by his name, of thanking him for the things he has done in the past, the thing he's doing right now, and the thing he's going to do. Because the Bible says in 1 Chronicles 16, 34, 1 Chronicles 16, 34, he says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, is faithful, loves and endures forever. Our God is the only one that is faithful forever. The Lord Jesus Christ is the one that changes not. And because he's a God that changes not, we have to learn to praise him. While you are there just watching us, I want you to begin to thank the Almighty God. I want you to look back and think of the things that he has done for you. I want you to call him by his name, that he is the King of kings, that he is the Lord of all, that is your hand thy hand, is the lily of the valley, is the hell shall die, is the one that was and is and is yet to come, is our soon coming king, is the lover of our soul, is the ancient of days, is the one that is greater than the greatest, is higher than the highest, is the awesome God, is our advocate, our counselor. Will you just praise him as you praise him? I know he's opening doors for you. As you praise him, I know he's 
is bringing healing to you. As you praise him, I know your life will never remain the same again. Every chance that is holding you down, they are breaking off by the power of this praise that you are giving to Jesus. He's the God that changeth not. He's the almighty God, the head of all principalities and powers. He's the controller of the whole universe. He's the one that is created. He created all things and he himself is not created. He's the one that controls the weather. He's the one that controls all seasons. Can you just praise him? Praise him. Thank him because you are even there to watch us. You are there. You are alive. You are in your own right mind. Not that somebody is feeding you. Not that somebody is, is, is just telling you to console you that don't worry it will be better. Don't worry it will be better. They are not saying that to you. So I want you to praise the almighty God. Because no matter what you are going through right now, if not for Jesus Christ, if not for his love, it will have been worst. So because it's not worst, shout hallelujah. Amen to Jesus. We are going to also thank the almighty God. Because the Bible says, it says anyone who is among the living, we're also going to thank the almighty God because the Bible says anyone who is among the living has hope. I'm reading from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 4 to 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 4 to 5. And it says, anyone who is among the living has hope. Even a living dog is better off than a dead lion. For the living know that they will die. But the dead know nothing. They have no further reward. And even their name is forgotten. You are able to watch me because you are not forgotten. You are able to watch this, this, this televised because you have a reward. Because you know that your tomorrow will be all right. Because you know that as long as you are alive, things can still get better. As long as you are alive, the Lord can turn things around for you. So because you are alive, I want you to praise the almighty God. Because it is only the living, only the living that can praise God. Have you been believing God for one thing or the other? Have you been believing God maybe for children? Or are you thinking you'll be believing God for the right man or the right woman? Or have you been believing God for a job, for settlement, for healing, whatever it might be? Because you are alive today, I want you to thank the Almighty God. Because if you are alive, that means the battle is still on the Lord's side. That means death has not even silenced you. Because anyone that dies is forgotten. The Bible says, it said, but the dead know nothing. They don't know anything. They can't change anything. But because you are alive, the name of Jesus can still change things for you. Because you are alive, the name of Jesus can still conquer for you. Because you are alive, the name of Jesus can still bring healing. Because you are alive, the name of Jesus can still open that door. That door that you are knocking, it can still open it. It can still bring you good jobs. It can still bring you your own wife, your own husband. It can still bring you children. So because you are alive, I want you to thank the Almighty God for life. He's the owner of all souls. You are alive because he has not demanded for your soul. When the Lord asks you for your soul, there is nothing you can do. You cannot sue him. You cannot query him. You cannot ask him, what have you done? He's the almighty God. So I want you to thank him. Just look at yourself and begin to thank the almighty God that the devil have lost it concerning you. The devil have lost it concerning your children. You are alive. You can look at yourself. You can look at your children. You can look at your husband. Thank the almighty God. Or are you watching me and you just say, oh, I don't even have children. Maybe you've just lost a child or you just lost a loved one. Don't worry. Because you are alive, God wants to turn that situation around for good. He's the one that knows how to make something that looks very, very bad to become something beautiful. He's the one that created the whole universe. He's the one that can turn situation around. He can turn the table around. So if he, he knows about it, that maybe you lost a loved one, but he can color it with beauty. He can cover your ashes with beauty. He can wipe away your tears and give you new songs, songs of testimonies. He can make you to begin to bring forth testimonies, messages out of whatever painful issue you've gone through. Because you are alive, God has not finished with you. Everyone has not finished with you. You still have a story to tell. So because you are alive, I want you to shout hallelujah. Amen to Jesus. It is only the living, only those that are alive that can have a further reward. The Almighty God will reward you. The ancient of death will reward you. 
the one that is called the rewarder of those that diligently seek him, he will reward you. Have you been seeking him and it's as if nothing is happening in your life? No way. Something good, something powerful, something awesome is about to happen. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is your year. This is your season. This is your moment. I don't want you to be discouraged. I want you to fire on. I want you to love God more. I want you to love Jesus more. I want you to obey him. I want you to, to tell Satan that nothing will stop you from loving Jesus. And as you do that, you will see that things will begin to work well for you. And do you know that when you begin to thank the Almighty God, you begin to praise Him, you begin to sing for Him, you begin to dance for Him. You even make the enemy to be confused. They don't even know. They start wondering, ah, what, why is she dancing? Why is he dancing? Why is he so happy? Why are they rejoicing in that house? Ah, is it that they've done, is, has gone, done it for them? Where we tied them, have they been released? I want you to stand up wherever you are. That you are watching this televised and begin to just stand up and begin to thank the Almighty God. I want you to praise Him like never before. I just feel within me that if you know how to praise this King of Kings, He will smile, He will remember you, He will raise helpers for you, He will trouble people that they'll be able to come and help you. Begin to thank Him, begin to appreciate Him, tell Him you love Him. Tell him you love him. You are not loving him because of what he's going to do for you. But you are loving him because he's your God. He's your king. He's the one that created you. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. His kingdom is from everlasting to everlasting. He's from generation to generation. He does according to his own will in the armies of heaven. Amongst the inhabitants of the earth. No one will ever question him. No one will ever query him. Just begin to praise him. Begin to move your body. Begin to move your hand to praise him begin to move your leg begin to appreciate him open your mouth and say jesus i thank you say jesus i love you because you make it possible for me to see 2016 i am grateful i am grateful they are not rolling me on the bed they are not they've they not forgotten me to bury me somewhere i am alive the bible says only the living will praise their lord shout hallelujah wherever you are it is well with you that hallelujah you are shouting it's opening door of breakthrough for you. It's bringing healing to you. It's bringing deliverance to you. That child that is making you to cry as you shout this hallelujah in the name of Jesus. The Lord is giving that child a new heart. The Bible says, he said he will remove that stony heart. He will give them the heart of flesh. That is happening to your own son right now. The Lord is giving your son a new heart. That heart of peace. That heart of obedience. That heart to love Jesus. The Lord is giving that to you right now. And as that son begins to change for good, I want you to begin to praise God more. And I want you to be committed and be faithful to the things of God. Or are you even churchless? Or are you the type that goes to church only when you feel like, when it's comfortable, when the weather is not too cold? No, 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 no. This year, God said, is a year of good things, good news, everything around good. For you to partake of it, you have to be committed. You have to be faithful. You have to be dedicated. So if you are churchless, I want to invite you to the redeemed Christian Church of God, Fountain of Revival, where the almighty God himself is reviving us and our life is changing for good, where the Lord almighty God is adding beauty, is adding glory. I want you to come. No matter your situation, no matter your past, just come to Jesus. And you will see that your life will not remain the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is well with you. It is well with everything that God has given you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible also says in the book of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10, it says, Say to the righteous that it, is, that it shall be well with them, for they shall eat the fruit of their doing. Isaiah 3 chapter 10, Say to the righteous that it shall be well with them, for they shall eat the fruit of their doing. Because the Bible says that it shall be well with us. That means whatever you are going through right now cannot or will not determine your tomorrow. Your tomorrow will be all right. Your tomorrow will be well. Your tomorrow will be okay. Are you afraid because of the children? You don't know what will happen to their tomorrow? The Bible says don't worry that their tomorrow will be all right. 
Are you thinking about your husband? The Bible says, don't worry that our tomorrow will be all right. Are you thinking about the assignment the Lord has given you? The Bible says, don't worry that our tomorrow will be all right. Because God said our tomorrow will be all right. I want you to praise him. I want you to praise him because he's the one that has said it. When he said it, he will do it. He's the one that controls the, he's the head of all principalities and powers. He's the one that controls them. So they cannot even stop it. When the Almighty God says, our tomorrow will be all right, it is final. It means our tomorrow will be all right. Are you having pains in your leg, in your knee, Lord? You are, you are, they just diagnosed something. Don't worry, your tomorrow will be all right. Because whatever that is happening to you right now will not determine your future. Jesus Christ is the one that determines somebody's future. And if he's in your boat, that means your tomorrow will be all right. So I want you to praise him. That business you are thinking about will be all right. In the mighty name of Jesus. That exam you want to be do will be all right. Because you have Jesus in your boat. But if you don't have Jesus in your boat, I want to also invite you now to begin to confess him as your Lord and Savior. Begin to tell Jesus to come into your life. Begin to tell him you are sorry for whatever you have done. Because as long as you are righteous, as long as you have Jesus Christ in your boat, your tomorrow will be all right. I am so sure about that that my tomorrow will be all right. No matter what is facing me, no matter what I'm facing, my tomorrow will be all right. And because you are listening to me, I declare that in the name of Jesus, your tomorrow will be all right. In the mighty name of Jesus, your tomorrow will be all right. Your home will be all right. The children will be all right. The business will be all right. Your career will be all right. Your health will be all right. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, it is well with you. It is well with yours. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The new book by author Paula Della A. Winning the Lost to Jesus is out now. The